and welcome to the healthcare segment here with MU Healthcare. And uh, today I have a special guest joining me. It's Dr. Christine Franzese, and uh, just give you a warm welcome and say thanks for doing this with us. Thank you so much. So today our uh, our topic is going to be kind of sinuses and allergies. I know some of these things are prevalent during the winter time, especially. the The first question would be. Uh, do you see an uptick in patients with sinus and allergy in the wintertime months? We certainly do. And it's not always easy for people to tell whether they've got an allergy attack going on or if they're having a sinus infection or a bit of both. Certainly worsening allergies in the wintertime can contribute to ha- getting a sinus infection. And as we all know, wintertime is when the colds and flu are going around. So one of the ways that you can tell these things apart is, um, is your, um, any drainage that you're having, is it clear or discolored? Generally, an infection will lead to discolored drainage, and particularly after seven days, it's likely turning into a bacterial infection. But if it's clear, um, then likely you're having an allergy exposure and need to address that. Okay, so I guess my question to you would be also, is there any way that anybody could protect themselves from getting these sinus infections during the wintertime? So practicing good hygiene habits, certainly washing your hands before and after you come into contact with doorknobs and remote controls or or sick contacts, um, covering your mouth uh, and nose when you sneeze, but not with your hand. And then certainly if you feel ill, um, it would be good to consider um, staying at home, not going to work. Um, But I know that that can be a struggle for many people. Um, And then certainly consider getting a flu shot. Most certainly. Are there any certain allergies that you see that are more prevalent in the wintertime rather than in the summer? Yes. So actually the indoor allergens rear their ugly heads during this time of the year, although technically they are there all year round, people are indoors more, so you tend to be exposed more to dust mites in particular. Dust mites, cockroaches, and then indoor pets, um, cats, dogs, and then molds, they all peak in the winter time. I see. So if someone were to be suffering from a sinus infection, I know everybody wants to get over as quickly as they possibly can. Do you, do you have any tips for folks out there how to get over it real quick? Actually, if you're coming down with something and you're concerned it might be a sinus infection, doing those nasal rinses or using nasal saline spray is a really good non-medical, non-drug way to help yourself get over that. You can literally rinse a lot of the infection away and feel better um, very quickly. So that's one way you can get over it. Wonderful. When would you recommend people seek medical treatment for it? Uh, You know, if it persists for several days, would you say call your physician at that point? Certainly. If you're suffering from symptoms such as sinus pain and pressure, facial pain and pressure, fevers, uh, nasal congestion, and you've had those for five to seven days, and particularly if the drainage is now becoming discolored, that's when you really want to seek a medical attention. Prior to that, most of the time those are viruses, and we really can't do anything about them other than symptomatic treatment, say with Sudafed or nasal sprays. But after a week, it should be going or gone, and if you're still having problems, you should seek medical attention at that point. Totally understand. Tell the folks who are listening to us today how they might be able to get uh, in contact with MU Healthcare or yourself if they're, uh, if they're wanting to get an appointment to, to see uh, about sinuses or allergies. So uh, one way is to go online through MU health.org slash backslash ENT or you can go onto the MU healthcare site and um, search for ear nose and throat and then our office number is 573-817-3000 in addition this time of year people tend to have really bad dust mite allergies and we actually have a study going on for children that suffer from dust mite allergies where there is a um, dissolvable tablet that dissolves, un- dissolves under your tongue in about 10 seconds. It's available for adults, but we're now studying it in kids. So if you have a child that you believe suffers from wintertime allergy, particularly dust mites, we'd be happy to hear from you. Awesome. Well, we want to thank you for your time today. I hope that uh, you'll come back and join us again in the future. Thank you. I sure will. Awesome. Dr. Christine Frenzies with MU Healthcare. Been another uh, segment here with MU Healthcare on AM 1340 KXEO.